From all the design tools in my tool belt, Figma has probably become the most popular one. I'm not using it anymore for UI, UX only, but also for illustration, infographic and print. Yes, you heard right, you can use Figma for print, but can you do all the things that you would usually do in Word, Excel, InDesign, in classic print tools in Figma? Let's find out together. Hello Deluxe Humans and welcome to yet another video about Figma, our favorite design tool of them all. And yes, you can use Figma not only for app and web design, but for a whole bunch of design related tasks. In one of my last videos I showed you my favorite plugins already and today will be no different. I will show you some of the greatest design resources for print design in Figma. Let's start with Print for Figma. Print for Figma is a free plugin by Ben Cuts and it allows you to create proper print sizes in Figma, including bleeds, marks, and all the things that you need to create a proper printing document. Just install the plugin, select the template or the print size of your choice and boom, you're good to go. Whatever print document you want to create in Figma, make sure you install Print for Figma first. But what kind of documents would you want to create in Figma? So there are a couple of templates available in the Figma community for free. Let me show you just a few, like the freelance contract template from Kristen AC. The template is a good looking ready to fill and ready to print document that you can use for your design or freelance business. Just add the required legal content and, well, the design position that you want to put in there and boom, you're good to go. But before you can fill in the design freelance contract, you need to get some work. And for that, you need a great portfolio. Enter the responsive resume kit by Carlos. The kit works as a website, but it's also great for print. Just take the desktop resolution size, which conveniently looks already like an A4 or almost letter-like format adapted to your needs and then put it in the proper template size that you can get from Print for Figma. Once you have successfully completed your project, you will need to write an invoice. And of course, Figma got you covered there as well. The invoice template by Abel Hancock does not only look really good and is customizable, but it lets you also import all the positions that you need to enter from Google Sheets. There is a Google Sheets Sync plugin for Figma, which allows you to transfer content from Google Sheets into your Figma file. The template is free and as with all the templates and plugins I am mentioning today, you will find this in the description below. Of course, you will find simple guidelines on how to use the template right in the Figma template itself. So why not write your next invoice in Figma? To grow your business further, you will need business cards and you guessed it, you can do those in Figma as well. Just make sure you check out the business cards template by Jono or Jono, sorry if I mispronounce your name. The template itself is really cool and versatile. If you are like me and you really like sketching by hand, using your favorite pen to get that nice sketch, you will find the dot grid paper by Trevor Filter very helpful. This is a very simple Figma template that just gives you this nice and clean dot grid structure that helps you to do even better sketches. If you have to deal with a lot of Word files, docx documents, you will find the docx viewer handy. The plugin comes in very handy when it comes to importing doc files into your Figma and previewing them in your design files. I will link 
all the resources down in the description below. I hope you find them helpful. If you have any other template resource or plugin that helps you create print documents in Figma, please let me know in the comments below. Have you done anything print related in Figma before? Did it work for you? Was it a good experience? Or should Figma stick to the digital space? I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and here you will find the other Figma plugins video. I will see you in the next one. Looking forward to that. Bye.